Hi guys, welcome back to Day One Media. This is Gina, your host. So today we're gonna be talking about scooters. Uh, scooters, electric scooters. Usong usong na yung ngayon, lalo na during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's a very interesting piece uh, or piece of technology, a way to get around, uh, not using a car. Uh, I personally use a scooter because it's very super duper convenient for me to get anywhere within within the city or within the next city for that matter kung kakayanan ng range um, scooters uh, get get you approximately depende sa weight mo depende sa paakit baba ng slopes uh, approximately 30 kilometers more or less 25 to 35 kilometers uh, that's of course my scooter the Xiaomi electric scooter pro that's the scooter that I currently have today electric scooters range from anywhere between 20,000 pesos to if you're really into the scooter thing it can go as high as 200 maybe 300,000 pesos yung yung mga napaka high end na scooters pero yung mga entry level yung mga actually they're even going down to 15,000 pesos so yon mga entry level scooters mga mid range na ay nga the, the, elect, the Xiaomi electric scooter pro is considered as a either either a a top eh, parang parang a high-end starter scooter. Yeah, it's considered a high-end starter scooter or a mid-range scooter in general. So, yon that's the Xiaomi Electric Scooter Pro. Why do I like the Xiaomi Electric Scooter Pro? Kasi ang gaan, well, <laughs> well, to people who are getting to the scooter game for the first time, parang sasabihin nila, uy, pre, ang bigat naman ito. Paano ba ito bubuhatin? Parang, in reality, napakagaanan ng Xiaomi Electric Scooter Pro, guys. Um, pwede mo siya... Ginagawa ko dati pag nafa-flatan ako, dinadala ko siya sa loob ng jeep, sa loob ng Egypt, sa ano, sa Isakay. Pag pauwi ako galing Makati, dinadala ko lang siya pauwi and uh, pag na-flat nga, ang dali lang Isakay sa jeep eh. Pero aside that, wala naman parang wala naman ako major drawback sa electric scooter pro. Yun, yun nga lang talaga yung range. You really have to think ahead. So, as I mentioned kanina, the range is anywhere between 20 to 30 uh, 25 to 35 kilometers. But in reality, you shouldn't use the entirety of that because it's using a lithium ion battery. Now, what's the thing with lithium ion batteries? Lithium ion batteries have a finite charge cycle in them, have a finite lifespan. Kapag Kapag kinain mo yung buong 25 to 35 kilometers niyan, so parang sinaid mo siya to the last 10, 20 percent, it's not good for the battery life. It's not good for its longevity. Uh, the Xiaomi Scooter Pro, yun nga, it only has 74 watt hours, uh, 474 watt hours of, uh, of battery in it. So yun. Um... Pag sinaid mo yun, it's not a, gonna be a good thing for the scooter in terms of its longevity. So future, parang pag magre-recharge ka, it's, it will no longer charge to its max potential as it did before. And of course, the thing with scooters is that it has a finite lifespan. Well, I, th- I think it goes it goes with most electronics and with most things naman that it has a finite lifespan. Mostly due to the battery na battery degradation na after a few years, or not really years, but after a few uses, mga uh, after your thousand kilometers, it won't perform as good as it did in during the first hundred kilometers say ganon um i've been using this for more than a year now definitely more than a year now and and it's been really my my daily driver when it comes to short commutes uh that when i was still of course going to mapua um ang ginagawa ko was that going to mapua is approximately mga 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 6-7 kilometers to go to go to Mapu and then back so mga 14 kilometers so so it takes up mga half more than half of the battery when it goes back and forth when I go back and forth uh, this is of course in sport mode pa there are actually m- modes in the scooter um, the scooter has the eco mode the drive mode and the sport mode I always leave it on sport mode kasi of course <laughs> masaya, masaya to go uh, at a faster s- speed and it gives you a little bit thrill in the morning especially pag papasok ng school parang makikita parang ang saya na yun nga lumabas lang humataw na onte I mean hataw to an extent that an electric scooter can what's the maximum speed of an electric scooter? well on the Xiaomi electric scooter pro the technical maximum speed is uh, or sorry the theoretical maximum speed is 25 kilometers per hour 
if you do a little tweaking as I did, you can go up to 30 kilometers per hour. Uh, 31 maybe. Uh, but after 31, there's really a hardware limitation to that. Kasi nga, the battery, the battery is directly connected to the motor, to the drivetrain, and it won't let you go any more than mga 31, 32, 33 kilometers per hour. In a scooter, actually, napakabilis na ng 30 kilometers per hour. Uh, this is already a hack, ha? this is already a tweak. It's not necessarily something that something that you should do. Kasi, it's gonna void your warranty, number one. And number two, it's gonna cause um, unwarranted uh, degradation, unwarranted um, wear and tear on the scooter itself. So if you go beyond the manufacturer set limits, of course you're doing that on your own. Uh, <laughs> you're doing that, and of course you're gonna sort of void your warranty and whatnot. So pero yun lang. It's nice to know that you have that customizability. You can change the settings uh, if you want really to to put custom firmware. Na parang kasi nalalakot during the first times that I've been using the scooter. Na asar ako. Lalo na when I was not getting the hang of it yet. Na pag sinipa mo sa binat na sa intersection, ka makati mandalu yung intersection, de. Diba? Uh, alam naman natin gano ka hectic lagi yung lugar na yon kapag sinisipa mo yung scooter parang kinakabahan ka ng onti kasi hindi mo alam shit shit kumag- kumagat na ba guys kumagat na ba yung ano kumagat na ba yung scooter kung ano kasi there's a minimum speed requirement para it requires parang 4 kilometers in hour 5 kilometers in hour so you need to push it to reach 5 kilometers in hour and then you'll get going if, you, if it doesn't reach 5 kilometers per hour yet, it's not gonna get going. It, you, it's not like a motorcycle na you don't really, you don't have to put any effort into it. It's literally called an electric kick scooter for a reason. You need to kick it first before it gets going. Uh, why is this? If you need to overcome the initial torque. The initial torque is where a lot of the battery drain comes from actually. So getting it moving, getting it beyond 0 kilometers an hour is already a big push when it comes to battery longevity, when it comes to saving battery and in the long run uh, keeping it running and so yeah that's that's the cool thing about the electric scooter Yun nga, you can uh when when it comes to the community and dami ko nakikitang tao na lalo na mga office worker even professionals even professionals who make six figures a month uh i see them using scooters this the exact type of scooter that i'm using the electric scooter pro they bring it inside their offices and lalo na sa mga taga BGC sa mga taga Makati it's a no brainer na kasi with the cost of parking reaching 60 pesos an hour in in public spaces in in like Glorieta and Greenbelt and whatnot um public parking costs you 60 pesos an hour well compared to an electric scooter pre na it costs you approximately less than 10 pesos a day to operate daig pa ang commute mo so Parang naging no-brainer na siya. Pwede mo pa siya dalhin sa loob ng office mo. Pwede mo lagi sa loob ng room mo. Kapag wala kang ginagawa, or sorry, kapag kakarating mo lang sa room mo, you just plug it in. And then, after the, your day of work, it's fully charged. You go, you you remove the plug, and then you go. You leave it, and then uh, and then you go home with a full charge. So, ba Parang napaka life changing for me ng electric scooter na parang I would really highly recommend to it anyone who's considering buying an electric scooter can go message me can go ask about the specs you can go ask about what you want to learn about the scooter community how it works um what are the maintenance oh yon speaking about maintenance just a quick rundown of maintenance the only thing I maintain here is the tires that's it although medyo hassle lang na onte kasi nga well, ano uh, yung tires ng electric scooter pro and I think most other most other uh, starter electric scooters uh, yung gulong nila is not as uh, as uh, as puncture proof as I would like especially ano, especially the thing with the electric scooters is that, is that they recommend you to put it at a very high uh, tire pressure by default. But in reality, I don't really follow the manufacturer specifications. I just lang the tire pressure because it's kind of hard. Especially for me, there scooters that springs. So yon, uh, if you're looking for something that's a little bit softer, there are scooters that springs if you want. But um, for the for, nga, for the electric scooter pro, there are no springs. I just did it. I just lang the tire pressure of the tire pressure. So it's kind of hard to be puncture prone siya because of the lower tire resistance. Pero yun naman, um, it's okay, it's it's up to you, it's a trade-off. Uh, but 
yeah, it's it's really it's really about how you want to customize it. A lot of other people use honeycomb tires instead. Honeycomb tires don't ever get flat, but you have the trade-off na napakatagtag ng ng uh, tires na yon, which I really 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 don't like na matagtag sa scooter. Kasi you can feel your entire head shaking kapag matagtag yung scooter mo. Ganun. So these are just some nuances when it comes to electric scooters. But again, I would really highly recommend it to anyone who's considering traveling, just traveling around the metro, going from city to city, Mandalu yung to Pasig and maybe back. Um, no brainer na siya para sa akin, kasi nga it gets you to places. You beat traffic. That's yun pala, That's the number one thing really. You beat traffic. So that eh, when I would go to Makati to Mapua, Mapua Makati um takes me approximately an hour. Mga 30, mga 40 minutes to an hour going to Mapua, Makati. On an electric scooter, it only takes me 10-15 minutes. So, never, never, ano, never below, uh, ne- sorry, never above 15 minutes. Talagang, imagine mo, you, you cut your travel time in more than half. And that's, <laughs> you you save a lot nga while doing so. And of course, you beat the traffic and you get to wake up anytime you want. That's the biggest rarang, ano, for me is that I can wake up when anytime I want and then just go to school. And then I, I no longer have to think about the variables of traffic and, and people going out and what time is the best time to go out. So you no longer have to think about any of those. You just go out whenever you want and then you're like a pedestrian and then you just go to the... You go to Makati Madalu yung bridge, you drive, you, you go down and then... And then, yeah. So, yun. Kaya naman yung umakyat. Kaya nyo naman umakyat sa Makati Mandalu yung bridge. And I think Makati Mandalu yung bridge is already a good benchmark. Um, as long as you go at a fast speed pagkapasok, as long as may momentum ka pagkapasok, hindi ka naman mabibitin. Yun naman. So, basta, as long as you have that momentum, that's very, very important. In electric scooters, momentum is everything. And I, th- I think that goes with any vehicle naman na momentum is a big thing. It just really gets some getting used to. At first, it's a bit jarring. Uh, no, no, no question about that. Also, safety. Uh, I, I would I would be doing this video just as if I didn't mention safety. Uh, during the first week that I owned the electric scooter, during my first like third run, going to school, going to Mapua, I fell down in the middle of Makati Mandaluyong. Uh, sorry, in the middle of Makati Ave. In the middle of Makati Ave. I cannot state that enough. That's very dangerous. But my point being is that you need to think about that. You need you need to be very conscious of your safety. You need to always wear a helmet and safety gear. If you don't have safety gear, maybe at the very least, always wear long pants and a jacket or something to keep your person a little bit more protected than than nothing basically. So so during that time in my fall I was I was fortunate enough I was wearing uh both a uh I was wearing long pants. So nakita yung long pants ko nangyari nangyari doon was that uh napunit siya. Napun- of course not ano not uh, yung yung ano lang yung parang crash landing area lang napunit siya. So it took the brunt of the force and then yung sa kamay ko I was able to to land on my two hands. Thankfully, so it wasn't that big of a deal in terms of the crash landing. Uh, it wasn't anything major, you know. Just people saw me in the middle of the road, and of course, the, you know, um, I was able to get up quickly, naman, and I was able to get to safety pretty quickly. But yeah, th- these are just some of the things. So be very careful, be very cautious. Always wear safety equipment. Thankfully, I was also wearing a helmet, but I wasn't. I didn't fall face first, naman. I just fell to my hands because I, I I was really, you know. I was really practicing for uh, yon that's another thing. If you can try to practice falling, parang parang uh, especially when you're just getting the hang of, hang of it, practice stopping. Uh, go to the fastest speed you can and just practice trying to stop with your bare feet or parang coming up visualizing ways that you can stop the vehicle. Kasi nga, of course uh yun nga, it's an open air vehicle, you you're prone to prone to whatever that may happen to you. So just just keep in mind lang para para maging ano, para maging second uh, ano mo na siya, second nature mo na. Na kapag mang, may mangyari, you know what to do. You you have this sort of intuitive protocol in your mind. And 
yeah, if, if you want to know any more about scooters, just message me and just message the scooter community. There's a huge scooter community already existing in Metro Manila and they're very helpful. They're very, they guide you through everything. Um, there are also more and more scooter uh, stores popping up all around the metro. Here here near my house, there have been actually two scooter, I, I know, um, two scooter stores. And usually around scooter stores, you can see, you can see a, uh, growing scooter community talaga na you know you go for rides out and then you have the parts ready and you have people to guide you and you have people to help you na parang manglalason sa iyo sasabihin sa iyo uy pre upgrade ka na ganun katuwa lang naman katuwa lang naman mga ganung bagay so yun that's that's uh, that's what i can say so far about the scooter community it's 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 nothing short it's nothing short of practical talaga lalo na when you live in the metro uh for me, scooters are the future. Beyond cars, scooters are really the future. Mm, it's really the pra- especially if you're, you know, more or less young, fit. Uh, go take a scooter. It's it's like the the mo- most practical way to get around. So yun. So thanks for listening, guys. Thank you for listening to Day One Media. Hope to catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. See ya. Now, what is that? You might ask. It's painting your own graphics card. In our case, a GTX 1060 OC edition. Try to see if it has any semblance of working or if the water is leaking.